Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lovely, healthy lentil soup. It's so delicious and of course you can freeze it as well and it's lovely for those cold days to warm you up and it's full of goodness. So I hope you enjoy the video and if you share it with your friends on social media, that would be great to help more people see what recipes I do each week. It would be great if you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any videos that are coming out. Oh, and if you like the videos, do make sure to give it that thumbs up and let me, let me know that you love it. And if you make any comments, that'd be great. I'd love to hear from you. So enjoy the video. All right, so we're just going to chop an onion up. As usual, make sure you've got a tea towel underneath your chopping board to stop it slipping. Cut it from root end to the other end. Then you peel it. So you want to use a nice large onion or two small ones. So just cut the end off, not the root end, the other end. As usual, we're cutting it from the root to the other way, but not all the way to the root end. So you want to do it from about here. So you're keeping that root end intact and then you just slice down. I've peeled two carrots and just chopped one end off and I'm going to keep this one intact and you either want to grate it on the big ones or you can grate it on the smaller ones. But that's better than cutting because you want them quite small. All right so the reason why we kept that end bit intact it just makes it easier so when you're going to grate it you can just have that little bit at the end and discard so you're not really wasting any. Right, so we've just peeled some potatoes and we're just going to cut them into small cubes. You could grate them if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do small cubes, so a bit like that size. And just put them in water for the minute so stop them from going black. Right, now we have some lentils. Now I'm using red lentils, but you can use whatever lentils you like. And they don't need to be soaked, like some pulses, but we will have to just give them a quick rinse. Right, so in a pot here, I've just melted some butter and I'm going to add the onions. I'll just give that a mix around and then I'm going to put the lid on and saute these onions for about five minutes on a low heat. Now if you want the healthier way or if you want the vegan option, you don't have to have the butter, you can just put it straight into water. Now we're just going to make uh, some stock. Now you can cheat and just use these stock cubes and add some water. Or you can make your own by boiling some vegetables. And you could, if you wanted to, make your own chicken stock if you would rather that than the vegetable one. It's really optional. And then you just give this a stir until this all dissolves into the water. So as you can see these have gone nice and soft. Right so now we're going to add our grated carrots. We're going to add our potatoes. Just give it a mix around. We're going to add some salt. You want half a teaspoon of black or white pepper. You want to add your rinsed lentils. So now at the moment this is still on a low heat. Now we're so we'll add the stock into this now. And then we're going to turn the heat up. So I'm just putting a little bit more stock into this. I'll have the full ingredients and the full method on the website if you wanted to take a look at that. Lifestylewithsharon.com look at the colour, doesn't that look lovely? And we'll just pop a couple of bay leaves into there as well. So we'll just turn the heat down now and we'll let this cook for about 20 or 30 minutes and we'll stir it occasionally so it doesn't stick and if the water does reduce too much just add a little bit to it. Right, so how nice does this look? Now some people add a little bit of tomato puree in this, you can do or a zest of lemon at the end of cooking, it's optional. So now I'm just going to dish this up. So I just tested this after 20 minutes and made sure that the potatoes were cooked. 
Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Now I love it like this with all the lumps in, but you can have it liquidized if you wanted to. All right, so I'm just going to try a bit of this now. As I said, you can liquidize this if you wanted to, or you can leave it whole like this, and I love it like this. But be careful, it's not too hot. Mmm, that is so flavoursome. So nice. I'd highly recommend this, and it's full of goodness. Mmm. So, try this, and let me know in the comments how you get on. I look forward to doing more videos for you.